In this video, I'm going to show you the best recruiting snapshot on Go High the World right now. And at the end of this video, I'm going to prove to you what I just said. This is also a video walkthrough on how to turn your very own Go High the World account into an ATS application tracking system. Now, before we get into it, guys, I do want to show you the type of application that we get from this recruiting funnel that we're going to show you. So let's just come back to the computer here. I'm going to show you two applications for two roles. This one is for a video editor role and this one for a media buyer role. And I'm going to show you the type of candidate that we get from this funnel because this is the sort of assessment that we give to everyone. So for video editor, everything is quite straight to the point, guys. I normally ask them a few questions about their background, their skill, and ask them to actually do the assessment by editing a few video and a few thumbnail right then and there and i normally ask them about go higher level youtube seo keyword research and using click up in general so the reason why i want to show you guys this candidate is straight away we able to judge and see his quality of work by looking at his thumbnail and his video editing skills straight away. For example, um, one of the assessments I asked him to do is make a thumbnail and make a one minute edit of this video right here. And you can see straight away, he gave me a video sample on Google Drive and a thumbnail on the other folder. And I was able to quickly judge how good of an editor he was. And he's also going in depth into keyword research and not knowing anything about Go High Law straight away. He was able to chuck out a few good keywords that I agree with. Um, also answering question about my YouTube channel in general. So this candidate, in my opinion, is definitely worth your time to get to interview. So the next candidate I want to show you is the media buying role. We design an assessment to make sure that we filter 99% of the people out there and only spend your time to interview and talk to the 1%. For media buying, we do our stuff a little bit differently. We ask about ad, what to do when ad get fatigued, what to do when your CPL go very high, or what to do when you we're launching a new offer in a new market. Now this guy go really, really in depth and very, very detailed into what he say. And we also ask him to strike a few strategy in terms of launching this offer that we have in place for our company. So this is our current marketing strategy. How would you go about setting it up, right? And this guy, he's actually sketched the whole mind map for us and go very in depth explanation into his thought process. So I really like that about him. And this candidate is definitely a pass in my eye. And one of the thing that we apply with media buying is as well we ask them to make creative for us and he's go ahead and make some creative so he's not that bad in terms of graphics design so this is what you want actually to look for in terms of candidate and this is the assessment that you should have in place to actually filter out those people is to have a all-in-one complete package that's going to help you from graphic design data analysts and actually media buying so now that you can see the type of candidate that this funnel can attract so let's go ahead and look at the overview mind map on what this funnel look like so it's normally just start off with a job post right here just gonna zoom up job post going to hiring funnel and then they go into a messenger using code word and then the candidate would go to a video explainer and then within that video explainer there's an assessment which then once they done they go back to the messenger the code word done and then we can see everything about their profile so let's go ahead and actually show you what that look like so let's just show you here from the job post so this is a job post that we post on onlinejob.ph so we literally just said we're looking for head of media buying for our growing real estate agency and then we stated we want Australian time and then straight away we give them a link to our Facebook page with a code word FBM right this is for media buying and the next step you can see this candidate saying FBM and then our automated message that trigger by go high level which links to Facebook page and then you can see an automated message come from go high level that integrate to this Facebook page saying hey candidate this is a video link explaining what the job is about and here's the assessment I'm gonna show you what that video link look like in a second and then once they watch it they just said FBM done which is the instruction that we give them in the assessment anyway and what the automated message say is that come to the Zoom link Monday or Friday at 3 o'clock Bangkok time and I expect to see you there. And you guys would not believe how many people misread or unable to follow simple instruction like this. So by having this test from the get-go, from the moment you post the job and the moment they feel in the assessment, this funnel alone is filtering out 99% of the people who are unable to follow simple instruction. They have to click this, click that and come into a Zoom meeting link at 3 p.m. Bangkok time. Now now we're putting this one unique zoom link because we have a lot of application and we have limited HR capacity 
if your agency recruiting for a more higher role such as CEO, COO, anything like that, I would recommend that you put a booking link, which is a calendar that people can pick a single slot time. So this Zoom link allow you to do a mass multiple interview instead of a booking interview link. So let's go ahead and actually show you what the Loom video look like. So again, this is the Loom video from the second slide when the candidate come in and message you the code word. So this is a four minute video of me recording recording on Loom and there's a Google Docs right here at the end. If you're using paid Loom and or pro plan, you can also put the doc here on the call to action right on the top here. So you can see here we have 122 view on this video and they do watch it through guys. So make sure that you actually go into detail what the role is about, what you're looking for and explain to them that you will not interview anyone unless they fulfill the assessment. So this is what the assessment look like. I just have the question list down in one, two, three, four and five point. Some of the question I do have another separate video that I just embedded as a blue underline word here. So what I do tell the candidate is very simple. I just go to file, make a copy, and then they can send me the Google Docs link into this form. So once they finish, they have to go into the page again and write FBM done. Now this is a different code word that will trigger a different automation and message on go high level. So make sure that you actually plan this carefully. So once they're done, they have to go into the Facebook page, message different code word, and also go ahead and fill in this form and this is the form that we have set up already on our go high level account so this form tell us everything about the candidate including a video introduction link a full name email phone number country where you hear about this job this is very important that you put this question down and also the code word so we literally have one form that drives all of the candidate from all of the role into one form so it's very important that you have the code word there so you can filter different job based on this field and then we have experience describe your current commitment and then proposal hour and minimum hour now this is a very good trick that I learned from my mentor is that if you ask them from the get-go what they are willing to accept and what they want to get paid for that just gives you a lot of leverage in terms of negotiation at the end. And the next question is that have you liked Vico most recent posts so that we know that you're applying and have you joined our free Facebook group. Now this is also one of the good tricks that I learned from my other mentor is that you always ask them to like your Facebook post. That way you can get a lot of organic light in your Facebook pin post and also drive them to your free Facebook group so you can monetize the candidate in the future. So this is very optional Facebook profile link, how well you know high level. And I always have extra comment there just in case anyone want to say something or voice an opinion about our application process. And the last part is the most important part is that the assessment submission. What I tell them to do is go to that Google Docs link, make a copy and put that link here, make sure that it's viewable and they have to click this. Now when someone come in and they complete the application, they go into our pipeline application submission and you can see their name here and you can click in and you can see all of that field being filled from the form, right? $10 an hour, no comment and question to the answer. So let's go ahead and show you guys the workflow that we put in place in order to automate all of this process. You want to navigate to automation under workflow. Let's just go ahead and look at the first workflow for this VA job post that we made. So what it say is pretty much if anyone message the Facebook page, the code word VA, right, reply in Facebook Messenger, they get add attack and then all you have to do here guys is just come in here and put your Loom video into the custom value at the back end. So um, the second workflow is again, exactly the same thing. So if you go to VA done, right, and the code word would just say when the customer reply the phrase VA done, they get add a tag and they get send the message which is to meet us in a Zoom link at 3 p.m. Bangkok time. Now obviously there's a lot of customization you can do with this to make sure that it sounds like your company and it reflect your company value. But this is work for us, very simple, an original Loom video and the second part is the Zoom link. It worked for us like a charm, so we just keep it that way. Now let's just come back to what the mind map is. After Facebook Messenger, HR hiring and interview, we normally put them onto a probation period, onboarding and then contract sign. Now within this snapshot, there's actually a lot more than just the workflow I described. Now if you come to automation workflow, you can see that we have three different folder. Number one is focus on contract track sign. When people add a tag in, it auto update student custom field and send a webhook to a third party signing software app. So if anyone who have not known me yet, my name is Vico Kang from Vicolize Online Consultant. I run a small team 
bigger marketing agency that serves real estate agents in Australia and New Zealand to get more listing and be more profitable in their business. At the same time, you know, we also an official go high level partner. We have actually onboarded 200 plus agency owner onto the software at this time of recording. So if you haven't got an account yet, make sure that you actually click the link on the description to make sure that you are actually using our field link to get an account to get that bonus extension when it comes to the free trial. So you're going to get a 30 day free trial when you're actually using our field link. High level itself is originally offer a 14 day free trial, but because we are an official partner with them, you are actually getting the benefit of the 30 day extension when it comes to the free trial, as well as qualify for our bonus gift and our snapshot. If you want to know more detail about the bonus gift and the help and the support, the snapshot that we actually offer for new user as you know, AKA new affiliate that join high level through us, make sure that you also check the link in the description as well. Without further ado, let's get onto the video. And the second folder is the messenger folder. You can see here, this folder contain all of the role that we've been posted. And it's also the job post workflow that also contain a bunch of role and a bunch of job description that we use to post for our agency. Now, the one thing that I also want to show you guys is that if you navigate to site and go to funnel and you go to job open, this is one of our funnel that called HR job opening funnel. Now, when you open this funnel, you can see that this funnel is full of the video assessment that we shoot for different roles for our agency. For example, this is for appointment setter and you can also go to the Google Docs for the assessment. And you can see here, this is the video that I shoot myself and it get hundred and hundred of view on this without any paid ad. And it has produced us high quality candidate for our business. You can see here, 300 view, 400 view, different role, GHL tech media buyer. And if you just click here, you get a Google assessment on what I personally use to filter people on those roles for our business. So this is why I said this is the most comprehensive recruiting snapshot. So if you're new to high level and you're thinking, I really want to start my own recruiting agency, or I'm just an agency owner who want to set this up for my business, but there seem like to be a lot of tech work, no stress there guys, we have the setup SOP right here with a in-depth video walkthrough and a checklist that you can follow step by step into setting everything that I just talked about in a matter of days. So this is why I said this is the most comprehensive snapshot on high level because not just the high level workflow, the web hook funnel that we are giving you, but also the job posting, the assessment and the setup guideline that we're going to be handing over with this snapshot to make sure that there's no gap, there's no crack when it comes to installing this into your business. Now we nearly there. The most exciting part of this snapshot is that I'm going to be giving you our very own organizations chart that we spend lots of time and money design that you can use for your business in terms of hiring and better defined role and candidate for your business. So with this chart, you can actually list the A to Z on what's happening in your business and you can assign your energy and your feeling toward those activity, whether it's energized you or it's trained you and you can put them into different department, different category and you can assign whether who is one for it, whether it's CEO or someone else should be doing it. And it's going to give you an alignment on who you should hire ASAP into your business and who to hire last into your business. And at this tab, there's a reporting on what everything looked like once you fill everything in. And there's also a visual grasp of the flow chart of the hierarchy inside your business. So this is it guys, it's Vico's here, your very own Go High Level Ninja from Vclice Online Consultant. If you're keen to get this snapshot into your business, make sure that you check the link in the description. And if you find this video helped you, make sure that you like, subscribe, and actually comment what part actually helped you and share this video to another Go High Level expert just to help the community out. Thanks guys, see you on the next one. Hey guys, if you enjoy watching the video, make sure that you're also checking out this content right there.